What is up, YouTube? Good morning. Well, it might not be morning for you. I time zones, you know those those crazy things. So afternoon, maybe to some of you. Good, good 3 a.m. I don't even know what's the term for twilight hour. I don't I don't know what the what the early morning term is. Anyways, guys, good day. Good day. We'll settle with that. So I'm really excited, and there's something I really want to share with you guys. I feel like a little kid again, but uh, this has just made my life a hundred times easier. So I had a buddy reach out to me, and he had a uh, elliptical for sale. Right? He had bought it, and he didn't end up using it as much. He wanted a different piece of cardio equipment, and uh, offered to sell it to me for a really good deal. So uh, I bought it. Let me show you what I got. All right? Now, an elliptical by itself is one thing, but what I do with it is what makes this so special. So we got ourselves a, there we go, a Schwinn 430. This is the exact model that I have. So you can look this thing up. They typically retail, I want to say for like between six to $800, something like that. But he gave it to me for like 275. So one heck of a deal. This thing's still like brand new, but it's got all the adjustments and stuff on it here. And you kind of just stand there and glide. You can put it up and down right there. Cup holders, even speakers on this bad boy. So really fun. I hop on it and we just cruise, right? So I got it sitting here right off my living room but this is just kind of where I'm sitting it for now. Oh yeah, by the way, comment below. Is this like, a, is, does this make this room look terrible or does it kind of go with the flow? I think it kind of goes with the flow. You walk in, you know what I'm about, you know? Let me give you a rundown. So you're a new person that doesn't really know rim. You walk in through the door. Hold up, we're gonna simulate coming in for the first time. All right, you walk in through the door. Hi, I don't know this guy at all, but uh, oh wow. And then you see all the supplements on top of the fridge. You're like, this guy means business. Then you look and then you see all the supplements over there at a food scale. You're like, this dude's legit. He's either a serial killer or the best bodybuilder in the world. <laughs> So yeah, you see all this, right? And then you see all the meal prep stuff and you know, you see, don't mind the dirty dishes. Don't mind the dirty dishes or the sushi takeout menu. Okay, and then you walk in here, you're like, okay, whew, glad we're out of this situation. Then you walk in, boom, you see all the hats. You're like, is he, is he hurting people and collecting hats? What is up with this? What is up with this? <laughs> no, but so you walk in and then boom, you're hit with the elliptical. Dang. This dude is about it. I mean, what kind of first impression do you get from that? You know, what's what What are you thinking about me if you don't really know me and you come over? Let's say, for instance, you're a female and it's a first date and you walk in and this is what you're greeted with, right? You know, the elliptical just right here, front and center. So <laughs> comment below. Is this going to help me at all with my current woman situation or nah? <laughs> but yeah, and then you walk in here and then, you know, you see that fake flower in the corner and then that's just that they leave. They leave. <laughs> oh, I'm a goofball. But anyways, so what I'm doing with this, I don't do the cardio right here with it. I uh, actually move it to like right here and play Xbox while I do my cardio. L let me move this into position and then I will show you what this is like, guys. This is a game changer. Game changer. Boom. So as you can see, it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to move, but spending a couple minutes moving it makes it well worth it. So check this out. Bingo. So, give you a little demonstration here. There you go. People ask me why I don't take my hat off. Because when I do, guys, this is what I look like. That's pretty much me without a hat on. Hat on, so much better. So basically, here we go. Welcome, Rem. You see that? This thing knows me. <laughs> this thing knows me. So yeah, I'll basically hop up here, get my controller ready, and then uh, let's say start a game up. We got Titanfall 2 going. Huh, I don't even know what's happening, but what was that? Okay. So yeah, anyways, I can like sit on here, do my cardio, right? And then um, some people are like, well, are you really doing your cardio effectively if you're playing games at the same time? Well, usually right if I'm doing cardio, you got these handles here and all, it's easy to like, you know, do 40 minutes, kind of lean on them and still get a good workout. You're still getting that heart rate up. But with this, my hands on the controller, I have, I don't balance or hold on to anything. So literally I have to like stabilize myself, focus on the game and somehow keep up with the pace that I set for myself. So yeah, let me tell you guys, this is a total game changer this might be the best idea i have ever had comment below if you think this is pretty slick so i think this is probably the coolest thing in the world <laughs> I feel like a kid again. Kid again. So yeah, basically that's uh, probably one of the best investments I've ever made. So um, I had a couple people tell me like, you know, that I'd get bored of this and I wouldn't like it and I needed to get out of the house more. Well, basically, I know I touched on this in a couple vlogs ago or whatever, but the way my videos process works, right? Like I wake up in the morning and I'm doing just client plans all the time, right? I constantly am doing check-ins with clients, video conferences, meal plan adjustments, stuff like that, making sure everybody's hitting their goals. And uh, that business for me has picked up so much. Thank you to everybody that supports me, by the way. I love working with 
you guys. I love seeing the transformations. I love making the meal plans. I, I love hearing the success stories. That is what motivates me to keep going. So, and I spend most of my morning doing that, right? Then I gotta find time to shoot a video. So I gotta grab the camera and I gotta do my thing, right? For you guys, <laughs> this is content. So I'm uh, trying to keep you guys happy. And plus I love doing this, so it is what it is. And um, so by the time I sit down, I take my footage and I edit it out, right? I gotta do my rendering process, which is the process taking all your little clips that I turn into a video. That process takes an hour or so. So normally I was leaving my house, going to the gym, doing my cardio. And then by the time I got back, it'd be done rendering. Then I could put it on YouTube. It's all doing daily uploads, guys. You gotta be very efficient with your time. So, and then I would run back and do the other remainder of my lifting session, right? So that was basically causing me to like, you know, not only use a little too much gas, but 10, 15 minute drive to the gym, 10, 15 minute drive back, 10, 15 minute drive to the gym, 10, 15 minute drive back. It's just in the end, ultimately not making the best use of my time. So this little investment here, if I really think about it, um, I'm not big on spending a lot of money, but this investment here, this is a business investment really. So not only do I get to do my cardio at home now, I can play video games while I do it. So that lets me kind of knock two of my passions out at the same time. You know, I'm a big video gamer, but at the end of the day, I don't have much time left. I don't get to sit down and play games like I want to, you know? So I think this will kind of help me not only work towards my goals, but also to have a little fun and be a little, you know, kid again. Cause you got to find those things that, that make you happy and let you de-stress. It's easy to get so caught up in the day to day, the grind, the work. If you have kids, the meal prep, whatever, and just not give yourself enough time to relax. And I know some people are guilty of relaxing too much, but if you have a goal and you want to get stuff done, you, you know, you got to grind and you got to work towards that goal. And I don't always have the time at the end of the day, you know, I have to choose. Do I want to stay up and play video games and turn wake up later, not get as much work done, not be there hundred percent for my clients? Or do I want to go lay down, you know, even though I want to stay up and make sure I get my rest in that way. I know I'm recovering properly. I'm growing adequately and I'm using, utilizing all the nutrition I'm giving my body as efficiently as possible. So, um, I think this way it's a very good trade off. I can do my cardio and have my fun at the same time. So two birds, one stone, very good investment guys. Very good investment. I could not be more happy with this purchase for sure. I'm actually probably going to do a little bit of cardio uh, here in a second, actually. Oh, and another thing too. So today's low carb day again on my carb cycling plan, right? Yesterday was high carb day. So I decided that uh, instead of going and doing like pizza or any other kind of crazy cheat meal like that, I wanted my cheat meal to mainly be a high carb cheat meal. So we have this place in town here called Wild Ginger. It's a fairly new restaurant. It's, I'm surprised it's not more busy than what it is, but this place has some of the best sushi I've ever had. So look in here last night, I'm going to put a picture of what I got in the video, but I ended up getting two Christmas rolls, two shrimp tempura rolls. I got the rice combo. It's got chicken, beef, and shrimp in it with a loaded thing of rice with a ton of rice. And I also got the chicken teriyaki as well. So in total, this meal was $42, but it was one heck of a cheat meal. I'm going to put the picture, actually I'll put it in right now, right? Boom, picture's in. So you can see the actual cheat meal that I had. And if you look at it, mainly the point of this cheat meal was to make sure that it was high carb. So I didn't want to go too crazy with fat and I didn't want to go too crazy with like, you know, getting a pizza or getting something that wasn't necessarily sticking to my goals. So the goal with a, your high carb day, if you are going to have a cheat meal is you want to focus mainly on carbs. So pay attention to the fact that my sushi is mainly carbohydrates in the form of rice. I got the big bowl of fried rice with the proteins in there. You got the chicken, the shrimp and stuff. And then I got the chicken teriyaki, which is mainly just protein. Now I know some people are going to say, well, there's fat in the rice and there's fat here and there's some sugar in this and da, da, da. Well, I'm not getting too crazy with it, guys. I still want to live a little, you know, this was a way better option than going and getting a large pizza or ice cream or anything like that. This was a much better option. So uh, this was my cheat meal last night and I ate every single bite. Hold on. I think I have a picture of the finished product I'll put in right here. <laughs> See, yeah, no prisoners were taken. There was not a single gain left on the table, I promise. So yeah, I'm one of those people, guys, you know, I was talking to one of my ultimate clients, Andy, actually, yesterday. Shout out Andy Garcia, he is an awesome dude. Andy's killing it right now, man, that's killing it. Appreciate the feedback, man, and appreciate the support as well. He was telling me that he loved my channel strictly because of how real I keep it, and I let people know, like, I admit when I cheat, and I admit what my weaknesses are when it comes to diet and training and stuff, and he was, it made me think, you know, and a lot of these people put on these fake fronts and they want you to think that, you know, when you diet, it's a hundred percent grind all the time, or they want you to think that, you know, there's never a single day off from the gym or, you know, you should be stronger than your excuses and you never have a cheat meal. But in realistically, we are all human beings. Human beings are flawed creatures. You know, our brains will easily justify cheat meals, will easily justify adhering from the program for a brief moment of self-indulgence. And, you know, we all mess up guys, you know, and you know, I could have not had that cheat meal at all, right? For my high carb day. I could have just like had some extra rice in my shoot potato and that would have been way more beneficial to my goals but I love food I love food and you know I'm I never want to be able to give that up I don't think that this lifestyle is worth living if you 
you can't have a little fun every now and again. So don't beat yourself up too bad. I weighed myself this morning, I weighed 196 pounds. That is, for me, that is heavy. But uh, you know, I'm still lean, I still have abs, holding a little water today, but one cheat meal. You know, now we're back on the grind in my high carb days and until next Saturday. So, you know, do I do another cheat meal like that? That remains to be seen. But in the end, it's working towards my goals. I'm staying happy. And honestly, what good is having a healthy body if up here is a wreck? So you gotta find that stuff. You gotta have your fun. You gotta find those things that make this whole lifestyle worth living. So that's one thing, guys. I promise to always keep it real because we all struggle, you know? And if you're the type of guy that you don't need a cheat meal and you can be a robot Monday through Saturday, Monday through Sunday, more props to you. More props to you because I can't do that. And because when I do, I feel miserable. So gotta give myself the little thing there so don't forget guys treat yourself because you deserve it if you're working and you're grinding hard you deserve it just try to maybe you know maybe not do the whole gallon of ice cream instead you know switch switch to more whole foods but you get what i'm saying and what would a vlog be if i didn't show you what i was eating right now so nothing crazy guys it is low carb day we are back on the low carb grind so this meal is going to strictly be some of that chicken i prepped a couple days ago we're going to go ahead and use it to make a meal real quick with some veggies so Super easy when you already have your food prepped out. Let me give you a quick little boom. So Brussels sprouts, these are gonna take us in the microwave approximately six minutes. So, open, face down, boom, bingo. So, six minutes, then we're gonna go ahead, open up this, grab us one of our chickens, and we know these are all eight ounces or 224 grams, so very easy to track in the MyFitnessPal app. Download that app, by the way, if you haven't yet. Game changer. So I'm gonna wait on this to finish microwaving. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in the microwave as well. It takes about a minute and a half, two minutes to get that done. We'll combine both of these probably in a bigger bowl. Whoop, actually, I just did the dishes. Let's see, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ram's gotta put these away, guys. I will be back. I've been neglecting my household chores, guys. Doing these videos all the time makes me really neglect my household chores. And I pray to a point where I just like throw as much as I can in here at one time. So yeah, it's gonna take me like 20 minutes to put this stuff away. All right, I'll be back. Nice. All right, dishes are up. Chicken is, woo, done. Okay, and then what I'll do is, I already got my Brussels sprouts in this bowl, right? I like to eat out of these big bowls when I'm at home, so dump that in there. So we know we got eight ounces of chicken. We got about, uh, estimation, four servings of Brussels sprouts in there. So getting my veggies in. Now, that'd be pretty bland to just eat like that, right? So I got a few little things I'm gonna do here to spice it up. So we got this triple X naughty girl Melinda's hot sauce here. Look at her, she's using that Snapchat photo that puts the flowers on your head. She was the first one, the OG. That's what that's based on. If you have Snapchat, uh, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, this joke probably makes no sense. But if not, download Snapchat, add me, Remington underscore James. I try to snap. <laughs> I try to have a good time on there. Okay, so we're gonna take this. Whoa, focus, got him. Okay, and I'll do a couple, it's, this stuff is actually really hot, so I'll just do a few little dabs here. That'll add some flavor to the entire dish. And then we're gonna add some of this traditional hot salsa. Just a little bit, it is low carb day. So we're just gonna do a little bit. Not too much, but enough to just add some really good flavor. So that'll work. And if you guys haven't done, uh, you don't have to get hot salsa, you can get whatever salsa you want, but this stuff is excellent, let me tell you. Adds a ton of flavor to dishes, and there's, you know, you don't have to, eating clean does not have to taste bad. I'm telling you, you mix all this up, it ends up being really good. And then to top it all off, you guys know what it is. I just cannot stay away from this stuff, so we're gonna do a little bit of this as well. Mix it up in there. There we go. We're gonna stir it up. All right, guys, we are in business. So doesn't that look great? I'm gonna do a taste test for you. I, <laughs> if you ever get tired of the taste test, let me know. I think that they make the uh, videos, they give the videos a little character, right? You guys wanna make sure this stuff's good. So I'm not hard to please when it comes to food though. Really, as long as it's got some decent amount of flavor, I'm pretty much down. Okay, one hand of this while I do it. Can I do that? Okay, so we're gonna make sure we get a little bit of everything. Brussels sprout, chicken. All right, we ready? We ready? Let's do it. <laughs> it definitely gets the Nate Whitlatch seal of approval. I think I'm gonna get shirts made that have that on it. There's gonna be some sort of joke tied in about the seal of approval, Nate Whitlatch, all that stuff, so. <laughs> Comment below with, uh, if you're enjoying the series so far. <laughs> that would be funny to see the comments flooded with those. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Today is Sunday, so I don't wanna really vlog all day. It's gonna be a shorter vlog, I think, depending on 
I always lose track of how long I film, guys. This could end up being another long one. I just don't even realize it, but it is a Sunday, and I'm still putting out content for you guys, but I actually do have almost all my work done today. I just got to still go to the gym. I got to do my cardio after this, and I got to get this video up, but after that, my night is pretty free, and that is a very rare thing for Remington. So uh, I actually got some plans tonight for once, so that should be fun. So I'm going to cut the vlog off here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, this is uh, episode two of Cutting with Carb Cycling. I'm going to keep throwing these episodes out like I said. I think the next episode, I'm going to go over my training split, how I'm training, if I'm training differently. And you know, I'm going to take you guys through how I eat throughout the day and stuff like that. I'll do some full days of eating. That way you guys have a rough idea of what I'm doing and all that good stuff. So anyways, guys, thank you for all the support of my videos. It has been incredible. We are at 20,000 subscribers officially. So that is awesome. It's all because of you guys. I appreciate it so much. And like I always say, smile, remain positive, <laughs> pay somebody a compliment because you never know whose day you're making better. And in turn, you make your day better and everybody wins, right? So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much and have a great day, guys. See ya.